Ooh-wee. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my take. I am your host, Mikey H, and I'm so freaking giddy by the eighth pick in the first round of the 2022 NFL Draft made by my Atlanta Falcons. Why, you might ask? Well, for three amazing reasons. One, I'm a freaking Falcons fan. And any way we can improve the team, it makes me so damn happy. Second, I'm a huge USC Trojans fan. And to have Drake London be selected by my Atlanta Falcons makes me happy as fudge because of my two teams having one connection. Drake London. And third, there's nothing safer than a Trojan. Trojans protect you in and out. Yeah, okay. So, let's break this selection down. Everybody thought that the Falcons were going to either go pick a quarterback or a defensive player with a number 8 pick, overall 8th pick, in the first round. Why? Well, with the quarterback position, no one thinks that Marcus Mariota is the Falcons' answer over the next three to five years. And we all have to admit, he's not the answer. He has gone from one team to another, showing that there's some potential over a period of time that he's played with Tennessee and the Raiders. When it comes to a defensive player, they tend to have issues in the red zone, as their opponents scored 63.8% of the time. The Falcons were ranked 24th in the defense in the red zone. They ranked 30th on third downs and defensive stops. For some reason, they're good in stopping the fourth down conversions, being ranked number 12. But their defense sucked. I'm not going to lie. Their defense sucked. Drake London is 6 feet 4 inches. And he's a great wide receiver who played football and basketball for my USC Trojans. London was an elite red zone target who, when grown, when throwing the ball, he's 50-50 and probably getting the ball against opponents. The consensus is that this man will win 99% of the time. I wanted to say 100, but definitely not 100. 99% of the time. Is this true? Yeah, it definitely is. And a basketball player, as a, he is, he could twist and turn, jump in the air, with his big ass height having a higher chance of catching the ball in the red zone with his big wingspan ah what are his expectations well barring any possible injuries issues from his last year at usc uh drake london will most likely be starting the wide receiver for the atlanta falcons this 2022-2023 nfl season as calvin ridley is suspended for this upcoming season Because he was caught gambling on games in 2021. Huh, who knew? He makes something legal and now it's illegal to do it in your job. He will also be the number two pass catching option for Marcus Mariota over Pitts. I mean, Pitts goes first, obviously. Now, Marcus Mariota is going to have an amazing set of targets and options down in the red zone. He's got Cal Pitts, tight end at 6 feet 4 inches. Drake London, wide receiver, 6 feet 4 inches. Cordell, Cordell, Cordell Patterson, running back, 6 feet 2 inches. Was this the right pick for the Falcons in the first round? I would say heck yeah. You possibly get the new Julio Jones to pair with your tight end star. Let's be real. The Falcons aren't supposed to be doing big things in the 2022-2023 NFL season. As long as they can beat the Saints, the Bucks, and the Panthers once this year, I'll be happy as hell. The objective this year is to give the team time to work together, to learn Arthur Smith's playbook, and to adapt to an NFL game play on a weekly Sunday basis, or Monday, or Thursday, possibly Fridays. I don't know if they could, they could do that. Then in 2023, when... We hit this division running with amazing speed, better, stronger defense, and with amazing options at the wide receiver position and tight end position. Ooh, we're going to be unstoppable. 
There is something that I love to hear from the Falcons general manager. My boy, Terry Fontanini. Terry Fontanini. I love you, Terry, but I can't I can't pronounce your name. Fontanini. Font. Font. Times New Roman Font. In a press conference on Thursday during the NFL draft, the Falcons are not said that the Falcons are not looking to fill spots when picking players in the NFL draft. Instead, they're looking at the best possible players in the draft at that moment and selecting them. That means that if they see an amazing player and they already have someone else in mind for that position, or they already have someone in that position, they'll still draft that player and have them battle out for the starting job. I give this selection a B plus grade for this NFL 2022 draft pick for my Atlanta Falcons. Now you might say, why? Well, it's simple. While everyone believed that the Falcons were going to pick a quarterback or a defensive player in the first round, everybody got the unexpected in getting possibly the best wide receiver possible or available in the draft. There are questions that we have of him, and it's all surrounding his injury during his last year at USC. Also, because he didn't run the combine, which to me was a smart move not to do it, but it definitely needs to be said. With time, he'll definitely heal much better. And he'll be definitely ready for the start of the game. Tell us what you think of this selection by the Atlanta Falcons in the comment area. What would you have picked if you were the Falcons with the number 8th pick overall? Don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe. See you next time, baby. Yeah! Fight on!